Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. Former chairman of Corp DEW Gunasekara convened a media briefing today. Now he had this to say about the oaths taken by the former governor of the central bank, Mr. Arjuna Mahendra. Most of the people are not aware of the steps that were taken to prevent this process. Only one press conference was held after I stepped down and the parliament was dissolved. At that time, Sujiva Sena Singha, who was with me in COP, got an interim order issued preventing me from speaking about my report. When the Prime Minister was presenting the COP report in Parliament, Sunil Handunnetti and I watched that statement on television. After that only, I convened a press conference because I knew once this report was submitted to the Attorney General's Department, it would be forgotten. If the Commission was given some judicial authority from the Constitution, then Ravi Kavananayaka and others would have been imprisoned already. Now we have to go through this again. It will take at least another year for this case to be taken up before court. Take a look at the newspapers after Parliament was dissolved and read the speeches delivered by Ravi Kavananayaka, Sujiva Sena Singha and Ranil Vikram Singha. All these were done to protect Arjuna Mahendran. They said the problem was related to the procedure of the issuance of bonds. Arjuna Mahendran said Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singha instructed him to follow that procedure and he acted accordingly. He said this before me. He swore before making this statement. I told him he should swear on the Bible. I have never said that before at COP. I did that as Arjuna Mahendran was the only public sector official in our country to not have taken an oath. 